would they not be allowed to organize on campus? Well, we do have an answer for you. Emma Mershall is with us. Uh, she's a campusreform.com correspondent. Okay, Emma, a group, conservative group, they want to come to Syracuse, and the Syracuse says no. You tell us why. Syracuse's reason is that the Constitution is too exclusionary. And here's why that's bunk. We have a current situation in the United States where we have so many people who want to come to our country and live here that we don't know how to properly process all of them coming here. So calling the Constitution exclusionary is not just false, but it's actually an insult to all of the people whose rights have been protected by this Constitution since it was written. This is one of the most influential documents in history and the most influential, certainly, when it comes to protecting individual freedoms and civil rights. What's really behind this. What, what, what's going on? Look, you, it's ridiculous to say you can't come in here because you support the Constitution. That is ridiculous. But what's behind this challenge? What's behind this is an anti-American sentiment on college campuses, which unfortunately is seen as highbrow. Mm. And at the Leadership Institute's campus reform, we've been reporting that this is happening across the country. Michigan State University Student Government Association recently shot down a proposal to put more United States flags on campus, and their reasoning was because they said that the flag is not inclusive enough. And also at Santa Barbara City College, we recently reported that there was a professor who wanted to say the Pledge of Allegiance during a board of trustees meeting and she was booed out of the meeting. So it's important that we cover these issues because really what's at hand here is an anti-American epidemic on our college campuses. I thought that, that I, I agree with you. I thought I, I know that there is an epidemic, uh, epidemic of this nonsense, but I thought it was beginning to recede. I thought the voice of reason was beginning to be heard and that this kind of nonsense will be just laughed out of court. And obviously I'm wrong. Well, occasionally you are correct because in the case of Celeste Barber, who was the professor that was booed out, she went on Fox and Friends and once Fox News covered this issue, the board actually went back on their decision immediately. But we have to constantly be working to expose these instances. That's why we do what we do at Campus Reform, because when we do tell the truth about these instances, um, the truth will set us free and sunlight is the best disinfectant. Yes. So it's important that we're constantly talking about these issues so that they don't go unnoticed. Well done, Emma. That was an articulate statement of what on earth is going on at Syracuse. And I really hope that because you're on Fox, we can get some kind of reversal of this nonsense from the authorities at Syracuse University. We're certainly going to try for it. Emma Michel, thank you very much for being on the show today. We appreciate this. Thank you very Great much. Great to be here. Sure Thanks. thing. There'll be more Varney after this.